How to build a website with Wix. So why, why build a website? Well, there are several reasons such as you can make money using affiliate marketing, advertising, or even selling products and services online. You can also blog about the things that matter to you, such as crafts, travel, or politics. You can also share your ideas, talent, or products with the world. And it is ridiculously easy and fun to do. It is a hands-on experience to practice problem solving and research skills. You can amp up your creativity. And in today's presentation, we'll be featuring the website called Wix. So what is Wix.com? So Wix.com allows you to make your own website for free. It is a great way to easily start up a business, write a blog, or share your ideas with the internet on the internet. Why use Wix? A quick and easy process. Anyone can do it. It is free to use, and more than 100 templates are available covering a variety of subjects and extremely personalizable with plenty of features. How to access Wix step-by-step. Step. In your search bar, type in wix.com and the first page of the website should look something like this. So you are now on Wix. To continue the process of building your very own website, click get started or start now button and you will be brought to a login page and click the sign up button. To sign up, you can either click continue with Facebook, Google, or use your email. Click the blue sign up button at the bottom when you're done. Uh, make sure to write your username and password to remember them. Uh, to get started, well, to get started, now, the, now click the get started button. This, this will carry you to a few pages when they ask you some optional questions. You're allowed to skip them by clicking the skip button on the bottom right corner, but it's recommended that you answer so Wix knows what you're looking for in a website. Take some time to answer the questions if you choose to. So these are some of the questions that Wix will to answer some questions. It's what, who do you want to create a website for? And there are different choices to choose from. And you simply click them. Um, and have you created a website before? So make sure to click, this is my first time, if this is your first time creating a website. And what kind of website do you need? So for this example, I decided that I want my website to be about game blogging. Um, so let Wix Addy create a website for you. Click start now to answer just a few more questions and Wix will, will get a website designed for you in a couple minutes with custom text and images. You also have the option to do this completely on your own, but clicking start now will help you complete it quicker. So the questions are, what do you need on your new website? Uh, what is the name of your blog? Uh, do you want to import your images and tags? So here they are asking if you have any other websites, a social media or a business location you want to add. So if you have none of this, you can press skip located at the bottom right corner. But if you do, you can copy and paste the link to those websites. So to add your info, you should now be on the add your info page. Here you will be able to state your name, email, phone, phone, address, and any possible social accounts such as Facebook or Instagram. You will also be able to add a picture of what your website is going to be about or your face. This can be done by clicking the plus button where the circle is 
and selecting which way you want to import, which way you want to import the picture. Uh, so you should review and uh, review and edit your info. When it's asked, when it's asked for your name, do not put your website name. Put your actual name. And to pick a theme, uh, you should scroll through your options and find the theme you like the best and select it. You can always change it later on. Uh, so there's different colors. Uh, you will most likely be asked about your color palette and will be given the option to use your website picture as a color palette. If you don't want, you can always skip and make your own. Pick a home page design. You will be asked to pick a home page design for your website. Like most things we have done thus far, you can either choose a design or skip it. I recommend you choose a home page design now as you can always change it later. Add pages to your website. Wix is, is also going to give you the option of adding more pages to your website. If you wish to, take some time to look over the pages and select the ones that, that are right for you. You can always come back to change or remove pages. Once selected, click the Edit Site button. If you do not wish to add pages, click the Skip button. And now that we're almost done, you're so close to publishing your own website. You will now see an overview of your soon-to-be website. However, you'll see that there are some changes that could be made. To change an image, click the image and then click the button Replace. From there, you can select another image you and to be there. Also from there, you should, you should be able to replace the title as well. This is your time to switch it up and give it your unique final touches. Publish your site. Click the publish button on your site. We'll go live. Your site has been published, congratulations. To be it, simply click the view button beside the website link. Uh, so to see an example, you should click this link. Uh, it is. It looks like this. See, there's the the title of the website is Good Gaming, and there's a there's different posts about it. With the contacts, where it is, um, and. For the, for the live demo, you should type um, wix.com and it should take you to this site. So if you don't have an account, you can click get started and, and sign up. But since I have an account already, well, I made one earlier and I, it's a Google account, I can just click continue to with Google And it will take me here. And, and I can create, I can go here and say, uh, create a new site. So it will ask me what kind of website are you creating for? I could say an online store. And, and I'm gonna let that. So it'll ask me a bunch of questions. Well, you don't need to answer them, but it's better since you can always change it afterwards if you don't like it. So what do you need on your website? I would say a, a chat, a forum, and a subscribe form. And it's it's an online store, and the name will be um I don't know Apple's uh, clothing store. And then, if I want to, if I have a place in which they can go into to to either to contact me or like. 
an actual store, I can put it in there, but since I don't have it, I'll just press skip. And I'll review and edit my information. Yeah, the address, I'll press next when I'm done reviewing it. Then it's, uh, I'll likely pick a theme. So I'll pick a humble one, continue. Uh, okay. Here I'll, I can, uh, oh, well, I can pick a, a homepage design or if I don't want, I can skip it, but I'll just pick one, like this one. And in there I can add, add pages such as this one or the store policy, support, testimonials, back, about us. I'll skip it for now. And it's, it's putting the final touches and you have to wait a couple seconds. And here, this is what my coding store. So here you can edit it before publishing it. So like making sure that what you want to put is there and what you want. And if you want to remove things, you can. And once I'm done reviewing it, I can just click publish. And there, and the website, you can either use a free one or you can connect it to your own your own website if you have an if you have another one. So since I don't have one, I'll just use a free one that don't make it for me. Now we have to wait for a couple of seconds. It's loading. Oh, it's done. Okay. So here it says congratulations. Oh, the website is right here. Uh so at the uh, at the left, middle, middle left of the thing, it says view site. It's under your site, it's published in live online. I'll click done. And it's here. I can edit it if I can like press this one. It says go to edit or located at the somewhere at the corner, no, right corner, so somewhere in the middle of the corner. And yep, that concludes the, the live demo and the presentation. Thank you so much for watching.